Well, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is Friday. It's a little after 8. So I woke up at like 6.45 this morning because I just cannot sleep in anymore. That's usually just kind of what time I wake up when I don't have to work. Um, so as you can see, I have Riley and then I have Bristol home with me today. So they are actually staying with their grandma tonight. Instead of last night, Liam decided to stay last night because his cousins were there and he just wanted to stay and play. So I always let him do that when he wants to. Sorry about the washing machine. I had to get washed. I had to get clothes going this morning because I was out of clothes and well, I'm wearing my last my last pair of clothes. So I need to get laundry going this morning. I went ahead and got the dishwasher started. I picked up the house, just kind of got it reset this morning before I sat down to do anything else. I did take a shower this morning, wash my hair. I've got a hair appointment today at 1.45, so I'm gonna take the girls to their grandma's um, right before her nap time, which is around noon. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do, I think I need to go to Walmart. Um, I need to look at my, at my grocery list and see. I like to go in and get my non-food items, just for one, just to get me out of the house and to go get me moving around in town, but also because I like to pick out my own stuff um, for non-food because sometimes they substitute things that aren't really what I needed. And so I like to just go in and do that myself. Um, and then I'll probably go to the Dollar Tree. I think I'm also gonna stop into Big Lots because I am starting, I actually have it on my calendar when I'm redoing the bathroom. It's just like a bathroom makeover. But I wanna go in there and look, excuse me, at their um, like canvas prints because I kinda know the theme that I wanna go with, but I wanna go in and look um, to see if I can find anything here in town before I go out of town to go to Ross or Marshalls, TJ Maxx, things like that. So I think I'm gonna go to Big Lots and then, like I said, I have a hair appointment at 1.45. I'm just doing um, like more blonde. Um, so we'll do that today. And then I think we're gonna have date night tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do, but um, my husband wants to do date night tonight. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly girl? No, oh, I love you. Okay, so I am back home from town. It is much later. It's like 5.45. I went to my hair appointment at 1.45. I was there for, what is that? One, two, three, four, four hours. <laughs> Seems like it takes so long at the salon. And I also got my nails done while I was there. She always does my nails while my hair processes. Um, but we went a lot brighter blonde this time. I feel like it suits my natural a lot better um because i don't i just don't like the gold blonde i think the gold just i don't know it looks weird on me but anyway i wanted to share with you what i got from the dollar tree so i did go to the dollar tree before i went to my hair appointment i walked through i didn't find a whole lot but what i did find what i did find i wanted to share so i feel like i got a lot of snacks and like food type stuff but so I went down their drink mix aisle like I said I think I've told you guys a couple of times but I try and drink five bottles of water a day and the way that I am doing that is using flavor water packets um, because sometimes I just don't want just like regular water so I saw these two so this is the Margaritaville um, drink packets so this one is strawberry daiquiri this one is pina colada and they both just sound amazing so I got one of each I found my Skittles this is my favorite and then I also wanted to try the cherry limeade I tried the ocean water last weekend and I just did not like it it just it didn't quite scratch the itch for me so I'm gonna try the cherry limeade this time I also whoop, I always go down the candy aisle and I always pick up some stuff so I got two boxes of this cookie dough bites these the Dollar Tree is the only place that I can find these, so I always get those. And then one of my favorite candies is Raisinets, so I got a box of those. Um, and I also got some more mints. These are really good to have whenever you have an upset, upset stomach. And my um, depression meds that they have me on, sometimes it upsets my stomach, like depending on what I've eaten or haven't eaten. So I just like to keep peppermints on hand. So I'll throw those in my office. I'll put some in my purse. I just like to keep them on hand. And then I got some chocolate covered pretzels. Like I said, I, I wasn't really looking for anything, but I did, I got a few things. 
And then these look good. I thought these would be good for the kids. So I got some sweet tart little ropes. This is the twisted rainbow punch. So I figured they would like that. And then I also got the kids um, a, a prime. They really liked the lemonade one that I got them last weekend. Um, but they didn't have any more. So I got them the tropical punch. They have told me that they don't like the green and they were completely stocked with the green. So I did not get them any green, but I did find, I managed to find two of the tropical punch. So, um, last couple things I, Riley has been breaking my claw clips. She'll take like the pieces on them and just like break them off. I don't know what her deal is, but I needed to get a couple more because my two favorite ones are broken. Um, so I just picked up two kind of like neutral colors, but um, I just thought they were pretty. They have like some cool designs on the side here. They were putting a ton of these out um, like as I was shopping. They had some really cute ones. So if you're in the market for claw clips, go to the Dollar Tree. And then I was out of post-it notes for work. So I just got a little thing of post-it notes. And then I found this in the baby section. This is a um, snack keeper. So I wanted to try it. It's not like real good quality it's not but it does snap so she'll be able to use this i have a couple but i honestly don't know where they are they must be at her grandma's house and she eats goldfish like it's going out of style so i needed something to help her with that so got this for her and i think that is everything that i got at the dollar tree so the plan for right now i actually have groceries sitting on the front porch so i need to bring those in and do a grocery haul but my husband went to Bass Pro with his cousin because his cousin works for Bass Pro and they get a very hefty discount. So he went with him. I think he's getting a fishing pole or something and then he needed a pre-workout. So he had to go to the supplement, the supplement store up there. Um, so he's getting that and then he told me not to eat without him. So I guess we're going to go to dinner, which I'm fine with. I'm starving. I've not ate since like 1030 this morning. So I am definitely hungry. Um, but I guess when we get back home, we're going to go to dinner together and then we'll probably just relax for the rest of the night. We are, we're, we are watching Charmed. Um, I have the, the full series on DVD. So we've been working through that and we'll probably just relax for the rest of the night. Good so. morning, you guys. So today is Saturday. It is 9, 10. So, um, my husband went this morning to go fishing. He woke up at four o'clock this morning why in the world men do that i don't know that will never be something that you will catch me doing but <clears throat> he likes it so whatever um i got to sleep in until 8 15 so that was really nice usually though when i sleep in like that i feel a little bit groggy but today i don't feel too bad so i scrolled tiktok for a little bit and then i was like you know what i'm gonna get up and i'm just gonna have just like a slow day just do like what I want to do and just take everything slowly. I'm not going to worry about housework today. Um, I'm not going to worry about cooking. Like I'm just going to just chill. <laughs> so I'm going to go get coffee. I'm going to go to Walmart. There's a few things that I've been meaning to get recently that I just haven't been in Walmart to get. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those things up and then I'm going to get breakfast and we'll see you what happens the rest of the day who knows okay i am back home <laughs> i went to walmart dollar tree big lots i also stopped at o'reilly and got a blinker for my rear um my blinker has been out for a couple weeks so i thought that i would just go ahead and get a blinker i don't know my hair's all creased now i was so sweaty like i don't know what the heck was going on in all those stores it's like 65 degrees outside, so maybe they just didn't have their air on. There's like no airflow. I don't know. But I was so stinking hot. I was just trying to get the heck out of there. Um, so I went to Walmart and let me just share with you what I got. So I got four new of these little bowls. These are the 50 cent bowls. Um, after you run them through the dishwasher a few times, they tend to get like a weird film on them. And no matter how many times I've hand washed them, they just don't come off. So I got four bowls. I got four cups. My husband um, uses pre-workout every single day, so he usually uses a cup like this. So I'm just gonna throw away the cups that we have and all the dishes that we have. These are 50 cents a piece too, so it's not like I'm throwing away a huge investment and we've definitely gotten our 50 cents out of them, that's for sure. 
So I'm just gonna throw away what we have because it's definitely time. Um, I also went through the clearance section and I was very surprised to find this little eyeshadow palette. This is a Wet n Wild Always Blushin. This was $4. So they had a whole stack of them and um, this was the only one that was marked $4. The other were marked seven. They also had the Always Naked one that I thought about, but then I kept looking at it and I was like, I already have like all these colors and it was $7 and I was like, mm. but the Always Blush and Palette, I don't have very many pinks. So I've actually been wanting um, pinks. I got it open. So here's what it looks like without all of the packaging. Um, let me just test a few. Oh, they're very, very soft. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. I just swatched a few. Let me... Okay, the glitter is very, very chunky. But the shimmer and the matte, it looks good. I don't know if you can see very well, but the glitter is pretty chunky. But I don't know. I just, um, I don't have that those colors. So I went ahead and picked up those. Let me grab a paper towel and get this wiped off. So I'm excited to use that. Um, and then I also found just a new phone case. I have the 14 Pro Max. And this was $7. I thought it was pretty. Um, I've just been wanting a new phone case and it was on clearance. So I was like, might as well. Um, okay. And then second bag from Walmart. I have been needing shirts. For some reason, um, Walmart shirts, especially the men's shirts that I like to buy. I, if you probably notice when I wear shirts in my videos. But I love the men's like band t-shirts. And so I like to go get some. So I got three this time. I was gonna get four, but then I put it back. So this first one is just a bluey shirt. It says, says, what up party people? <laughs> I just thought it was funny and I love bluey and so do my kids. So got a bluey one. I also got this Beetlejuice one. This one was really cool. I wasn't gonna get any more black ones, but I saw this one and I was like, yes, I need that one. So I got a Beetlejuice one. And then I really tried not to get black ones because I have so many black and then like this color that I just wanted something else. So I saw this Hello Kitty one and I thought it was cute. Um, so these were all $9, like $8.98 or something. Um, so I got three of those. I also needed some more panties, so I got some panties. Um, you just need to, it's been a long time since I bought new panties, so. And then I also got six of these plates. We love these plates so much. Um, so I went ahead and got six and then all the ones that I have in the pantry, I'll just, I'll just toss because it's just time. Um, okay, at Dollar Tree, I need to stop going into the Dollar Tree. You guys, next time that I tell you that I'm going to the Dollar Tree, just tell me now, okay? Because I'm spending my whole life savings at the Dollar Tree, but it's fine. It's fine, okay? So I went in because I had this bright idea that I needed a few things for the bathroom that I'm gonna be redecorating. And then of course, when I went into Big Lots, I saw other things that I liked and I'm like, well, dang it, but it's okay, we'll make it work. Um, I decided against the ones at Big Lots just because they were quite a bit more expensive. The this, this stuff that I found was like $4 and I got this stuff for $1.25. So first, I got two of these little floating shelves. So my plan is to put these in the bathroom and just like stagger them. Um, and then I'm gonna decorate it. I'm gonna print out some pictures. I got these picture frames. These are just like, they kind of have, a, have like a wood texture. They're four by fours. I'm just gonna print out some pictures and put in here. I don't know what the pictures are gonna be yet. I'm sure that they'll go with the whole theme, but I wanted to bring in some like wood. And then I also found two of these little succulent plants that I'll put on the shelves as well. So that's kind of my idea with that. And honestly, it was way cheaper than getting something else. So, um, okay. Also, hold on. They have these little canvases and I finally took the time to look through all of them. And there were so many that I could have got for Bristol's room, for Liam's room, for just everywhere around the house, but I refrained. Um, but the ones that I did pick up, I got this little black and white one, and then I got two of these. They're the same thing, but I can flip them or, you know, do whatever I need to do with them. 
So yeah, well, I'll hang those up somewhere in the bathroom. I'm kind of going with like a black and white theme, but bringing in some greenery and some wood accents too. So that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking with the bathroom. And I'm just slowly gathering things to, to do it. But um, I think it was a, a success of the Dollar Tree because I would have spent way more on other stuff. Um, okay, a couple more things. I just got these elastic hair ties. Um, I thought these would be good for Bristol, but also for me too. They don't have, um, like they just kind of roll out. Like, so I thought they would be good. So I got those. And then I also got these little Fabuloso little cleaning wipes. These are on the very, very top shelf and I'm 5'2", so I had to really get up there. I actually had to pull the box down, but they had the purple and they also had the um, yellow too. But the purple is my favorite. It just the purple is just like a very, very clean scent and I just really like it. And then I meant to look at the other paper plates, but I got some paper plates just to have for like, if we need them for like sandwiches or whatever, I just like to keep paper plates on hand and I forgot to get them in my grocery haul this week. Um, I also got some forks and spoons just to keep. Um, we're gonna be having some kids over tonight and so I wanted to make sure that I had enough of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it didn't break, we're good. Woo! My life just flashed before my eyes. Okay, and then lastly, I went to Big Lots and I was looking for, I went over to the canvases and I wish that I had enough because I was a little sad when I found something that I really liked and that I had already gotten it at the Dollar Tree. But we're just gonna look past that. So, I'll share with you the little canvases that I got. So these were both $8 a piece. So here's this one and it has a bunch of writing on it. Um, it says in the bathroom, don't play in the sink, flush the toilet, close the door, wash hands, brush teeth, clean up. And then this one says bathroom rules. If it's up, put it down. If it's on, turn it off. If it's dirty, clean it. If you're slow, hurry. So I'm going to hang these up somewhere. I just don't know where yet. We'll figure it out. And I might not even end up using the Dollar Tree canvases, but I will for sure use these. And then last couple things. I needed some more of these little razors. I shaved my face with these. Um, and so I just needed some more. And these were only $2 at Big Lots. So I got those. And then um, I needed some more instant coffee. And I've been looking everywhere for this brand. And I found it at Big Lots. I don't know how much it was. Um, there wasn't a price on it. And they're not real good about putting prices on things. But I got it and I'm excited to try it because it's all over TikTok right now. And they say it's the absolute best. So we'll find out. But anywho, I also went to O'Reilly's. Like I said, I got a blinker light. I went to McDonald's to get lunch. I got my coffee. It is 11.30 right now. I usually go get my kids around 3.00. So I think I'm gonna finish eating my lunch, watch some TV, and then I'll go get my kids at some point. But my mission this weekend is to finish reading my book so I can start a new book. And tomorrow I'll probably do like a whole Sunday reset. Well, good morning. It is Sunday. It's about 9.30. So I've been awake since like eight but the baby just now woke up so I've just kind of like spent my time um I scrolled TikTok for a long time and then I decided to get up and get ready and now she's awake so I'm actually starting some laundry before I go get her normally I wash my husband's work clothes on uh Fridays but he needed his other clothes washed Friday so I'm just now getting around to it but it's fine so today I'm gonna be doing a bunch of cleaning I think um, or not a bunch just like maintenance um, so I've got I'm gonna have three loads of laundry to put away I also need to wash Bristol's clothes um, so I'll need to do that and I just picked up like the back side of the house so I'm taking all this stuff to the kitchen and then we're gonna, I gotta come back cause I gotta get some more stuff out of my bedroom. But I don't know, I'm kind of just walking around the house, see what needs to be done. 
and I need to cook breakfast too. My kids are hungry. Their rooms are a disaster again. Okay, so we are in my bedroom for just a change of scenery, but I went ahead and made a to-do list for today. I'm probably not going to get to it all, but you know, I have good intentions. <laughs> so for sure, I need to put away all the laundry. I need to wash some clothes. I've got Riley, Bristol, and Terry's work clothes. I need to put dinner in the crock pot at 11, and then I need to do my June budget. I might include that in today's video. You'll just have to wait and see. And then I also need to do the dishes, vacuum the carpet, sweep and and sweep the living room in the kitchen and then just some things in the kitchen so cut up some apples make deviled eggs make the brownie bites fill up my planner tidy up the kids rooms organize my bathroom drawer and then I just have some self-care stuff I want to do as well so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to finish picking up the house first and then I'm going to come back and organize the bathroom drawer and then we will just work on this whole cleaning list and we'll see what all we can get done hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real fire Pioneer Woman Crock Pot here. I've used this so many times and it's just stained and there's crap that I can't get off of it and it's just it's probably time for a new a new crock pot if we're being honest but here we are. So I've got stew meat here. I've got let's see it's 1.25 pounds so not too bad. Um, so I actually got this in my grocery haul the other day and I froze it because the next day what it expired and so I didn't want it to go bad and then here we are today so I'm just gonna throw this in perfect I'm gonna wash my hands real quick okay I'm just gonna put this in an even layer on the bottom this actually might not be enough this might be just a one meal kind of thing um okay and then I'm just gonna season. So I'm gonna do some salt, some pepper. I'm 
I'm gonna use this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, just a little bit, not a whole lot. I just like the flavor this gives. And then I've also been loving the Kinder's Caramelized Onion Burger. This is so, so good. I use it on like everything now. My husband doesn't like it, but he doesn't ever know what's in there and he's not complaining, so. Um, and then I've got this minced onion that it says to add. I feel like if you're using an onion soup mix packet, you would not have to do this, but I'm using a brown gravy packet, so we're just gonna roll with that. A few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. I'm not measuring, I'm just whatever I feel like. And then it is a packet of brown gravy mix or onion soup mix. I like brown gravy mix. I don't like the onion soup mix because I feel like it gives like a sweet flavor and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna toss this over. There we go. And then I'm gonna add in a can of cream of mushroom. If I was feeling fancy, I would have mixed all these ingredients together and dumped it over, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, and then it says to fill up the can halfway with water. And then I'm just gonna dump that over. And that is it. With this, I'm gonna be lazy tonight and use the Bob Evans mashed potatoes and then also our favorite green beans. We tried the ones with potatoes last week and Riley really liked them and I really liked them. No one else complained about it. So if they substitute with the potatoes again, I will be absolutely fine with that. Okay, so I just finished filling out my planner. So I just kind of wanted to share with you like what I do. I've shared my planner before, but I got it at TJ Maxx and here's what it looks like. It's just the front and then it has weekly spreads, it has a monthly spread and then also a, a monthly goal work place. <laughs> so you get your goals up top, your what, your to-do list for June, birthdays, other important dates, and then reminders down here. I don't usually fill this out to a huge extent, but sometimes I do like to fill them out. And then I use the calendar for budgeting, which I'm getting ready to do but I just wanted to share with you. So up here at the top, I always do workout, water, and read because those are the three most important things to me right now. So I'm really trying to focus on those three things every single day. So when I do this, I first pull up my personal calendar and I'll fill in just like anything that we have going on. So like I have dinner with a friend on Thursday. Um, last week we had Bristol's uh, graduation. So I put graduation here so this side I always put with like reminders and things and then this side is more of like a to-do list so orange is always like associated with work I've just kind of always associated that with work and then I'll go through and I'll highlight the days in green just because they're kind of hard to see if you don't highlight them and then um so I also use this side to put our dinners so I just like to highlight those in purple I've just kind of always associated that with purple and then um, I'll also write out some other things I need to do that aren't really like to-do list worthy, but it's more just like reminders to remind myself. Um, so I need to email our mortgage girl, and then I also need to lay out hamburger for nachos on Tuesday. Um, and then, so usually I do this like day of, but a lot of times um, th the beginning of the week, I do have some things that I need to do like every single like every day and like I already know what I need to do on certain days so like up here I have um, an invoice that I need to turn in and then I also need to wash towels and then I here I know I need to edit my grocery haul I know that I'm gonna run out of clothes this day so I need to make sure and wash my clothes I always meal plan on Thursdays and I always edit my vlogs on Thursdays and I also need to wash Riley's clothes Fridays I pay bills, I do a grocery order, and then I always like to plan out my workouts. If I have them planned out, it's easier for me, sorry about the washer, um, it's easier for me just to go in and do them. So I have certain videos that I just do every single time and it's worked out good for me. So Monday is arms, Tuesday is legs, uh, Wednesday is abs, uh, Thursday is butt, and then on Friday I'm gonna try to start working out on Fridays as well so I get five days in because I haven't been working out on Fridays um, I just been taking the weekend off but I want to start getting a walk in 
on Fridays because normally I do a five minute warm up. I'll do my workout and then I'll do a five minute cool down, but I want to just focus on walking on Fridays and just get more walking in. So, and then the weekends, I usually don't make a huge to do list for the weekend just because I always have like separate lists somewhere else in the house for the weekends. But this weekend, we are focusing on the backyard and the pool. We were going to do that this weekend, but it rained and we just couldn't get to it. So, we're going to do that next weekend. But yeah, that's kind of how I fill out my planner. Okay, I just finished our budget. So, I use the calendar in my planner and I just have this sheet that I have written out for all of our bills and their due dates and everything like that. So this is just kind of what we do here. I change the way I do my budget so often, um, but it's always relatively the same method. So I'll go out and figure what paychecks we have. So the pink is me. So we always get a little bit more money a lot more money when it's both of us getting paid versus when my husband gets paid and then I just use this calendar to write down all of our due dates or at least playing with the thermometer and then over here we have an affirm payment that I just used to get um, stuff for the pool so I'm trying to pay that down as quick as possible um, so I made a note over here and then I will take this information from the calendar I'll move it over here so I write down um, each one of our paychecks and their dates and how much they'll be. I write down what has to be paid from each paycheck. And then I always use a color coding system. So blue is auto pay, um, yellow is need to pay. So that just means we have to go in and physically pay the bill or like we need to go get gas or my husband needs to actually go to town and get chew. Things like that, that we have to take some sort of action. Um, transfer is always purple, which just means we have a separate bank account for our house payment because it's so large and it takes so long to come out of the bank. I just got a separate account for that so that I can just transfer money and it can come out whenever it needs to come out. And then the pink is a scheduled payment. So I just have two that I have to schedule. It's my, it's the two credit cards we have left. So I went ahead and scheduled those for their due dates and they will come out on this paycheck. So yeah, that's kind of how we do our budget and we are all set for June. Mm -hmm.